What's happening guys, it's B-Rad and welcome to another episode on the Graft to a Draft series. Now if you did see the last episode, you will know that we did Team of the Season sniping on the goalkeepers and defenders. So on today's episode, we're going to be moving on to the midfielders and the forwards. Now as you see on the screen there, we're at 1.272 million. So in order to get the 15,000 coins we need to enter the draft, we need to be at 1.287 million by the time all the cards that we've traded on have sold. Now as I go and take you over to the transfer targets, you will see the players that I've put in there that I'm going to be looking at sniping. So we've got everything from Parejo, Andre, Kovacic, Promes, Cruz, all the way up to some of the forwards like Slamani, Dembele, Perez, Jonathan, etc. Um, none of the sort of ones that are in sort of like a you know a half a mil bracket or anything because I think that's a little bit unrealistic but some of the ones that just come out a little bit more commonly random sort of 40 or 50k mark that we can just get some snipes on in the last episode you'll know that I got a Soyuncu for about 14,000 coins under his price so after tax when we sold him he gave us 10k which was a massive boost towards our target what we're going to do now is I'm going to go in and start trading on those. Now, I won't necessarily show you every single one, but if I do get a few that are sort of four or 5,000 or more under their price, then I will pop them in just to show you that we've got a very decent snipe on the episode. But without any further delay, let's get into it and start sniping some Team of the Season players. Okay, unfortunately we haven't had any incredible snipes so far. Everything's about one or 2,000 coins under um after tax so we're making a little bit of profit but it is slowly but surely at the moment but i just want to take you to the transfer market because i realized i do have a player on there from the foot eliminator episode who isn't selling and i obviously want to be transparent with the coins i am making on this series so you'll see that we've got five that we have sold on here now pick these all up for around about two thousand coins three thousand coins under and you'll see we are at 1.27 nine now so we're halfway through we're about eight thousand away from our target but i do have this moosh at the end who i cannot sell at the moment now i want to keep him there but i'm not listing him again because i don't want it to affect the coin balance here so i just wanted to be transparent about that so you don't wonder if you saw that there was one on my transfer market but i hadn't done anything with it at the start of the video that is what that card is i'm leaving it there i'm going to carry on with the rest of the sniping and yeah we're about halfway through um i'm looking for just one really good snipe but i'm now going to go to some little bit more expensive players so hopefully we'll get one there okay so we have done it it is taken a massive nearly and just over an hour to actually get the 15,000 coins i don't usually struggle like this even on a daytime let alone at night time which it is currently um now as you'll see i accidentally cleared the transfer list i was writing down the tax on a sticky note in front of me um, to try and basically work out whether we were at the point we needed to be at and as I lent it against the desk it pressed the left trigger which cleared everybody off it when I did that though one of the brands did sell two were there they weren't selling which is why I was working out the tax you'll see here and um, yeah I basically needed to figure out whether it was going to be where we were at afterwards and now in fact actually they've both now sold so let's go back onto the market it should be around about 200 uh, 1.287 there you go 1.289 so we are 2,000 coins over or about 1,800 I think over after what it was so now I'm going to clear them fully I will clear them and I'm going to list this guy up again um, and hope that he sells I bought him in the foot eliminator episode for 24k but he doesn't seem to want to sell at all but it does mean we now go and get into the online draft now I do believe, do believe I've got a draft token pack. So, although I have made the 15,000 coins and you can see that, that is a testament to the fact that we are now at 1.289, I am going to redeem my draft token pack. Now, I know what you're thinking, it's a little bit cheating because technically I should be using the coins. The thing is, this is a trade to glory. There has always been a trade to glory. So coins are basically the essence of this series and this this account so what i'm going to do is i'm going to redeem that i'm going to list that quick sell those last two and i'm going to use my draft token to enter that draft because at the end of the day i need to be scrupulous with my coins i'm on a trade in trade to glory but no fifa points apart from when i did i think we did a foot eliminator with some fifa points but other than that this is all trading so i'm going to use that draft token some people say that they think that the draft token drafts aren't as good I don't think that's actually a thing, although these formations are terrible. 
Um, wow, they are really terrible. So defensive on the four backs. And then we're going to be so aggressive on the three backs. But I'm going to go for it. I'm going to have to go for a three back. This could be another first round exit, which has happened to me um, a couple of times recently. And it's, it's not a good feeling. Let's go get Hazard because I don't really tend to use him. We'll go for our striker spot. We want to see some nice tasty icons. Come on. No one there really at all that I'd like to take. I suppose for Lynx I'd probably better take Perez. But I hope that neither of these two are going to be in my final squad. Oh this is bad. Maybe they were right. Although we got rescued with a Di Maria right at the end there. Um, where are the icons at? That's what I want to know. Let's take the Argentinian. Try and see if we can bring in Maradona. This is not good. He's got a team of the season. Decore will take. Um, I hate it when it does that. I've tried to take the left centre mid. Um, we'll take Ramos because there's no other choice there really. But um, now we'll take the left centre mid. Couple of good team of the uh, seasons there. However, I can't fit him in without icons. But the rest are so rubbish. I'm going to take him. I'm going to take Oscar. Um... Yeah, we need to see some serious, serious players. We'll take Rashford, switch to Gore over. We'll take Diego Carlos because he is incredible. Mm -hmm. And I guess we'll take Laporte. And then to cap it all off on a goalkeeper. Wow, none that link at all. Not even an English or a Spanish league. Let's take Handanovic and we're going to hope to God that we get what we need here. Okay, so. We've got a goalkeeper and we have got Edison, which I think works best because it's got a link to Diego Carlos then. We've then got the link to Laporte. What would happen if we put Diego Carlos in the centre? Would that give us any more? A little bit more, Ken, but really we're still lacking some here. Uh, Laporte's not my first choice either, but it looks like he's playing. Oh, no. An icon? Oh, a silver. That's terrible. Right, we need some icons, seriously, just to save this team. Right, Kante's going to have to go in. Now the problem with having a left mid is that it doesn't give us the space at left forward. It would give us a little bit more chemistry to take Mane. We also need someone on that right side though, don't we as well? So do you know what, I'm going to take Pizzy. Um, nothing, he doesn't really link there or anything, but if I'm not going to get the chemistry, I might as well just get the best players in the team. Munir, strong links. Looks like a nice card. 97 pace, 95 dribbling, 94 shooting. Don't mind you playing up there at all. And we have... Oh. Okay. So we got to Stegen who links. We've got Carlos Alberto who does link but is a right back. We've got Lucas Mora who would link to Diego Carlos and... This is tough. I think I'm going to have to go for Lucas Moura. Everything in my power that was against me then to not want to do that, but I think that's probably the right thing to do for chemistry. We still need some icons, though, really, in this. I've got a right back, Trent. I can't not take him. He might have to come on as a sub for uh, Laporte. I'm going to have to take normal Salah. This is quite a sad looking draft, isn't it? Just got a lot better though. Just got a lot better. Come on, finish it off with all icons. Oh, the Jenny though. Yeah, but then I didn't get a Spanish league. That was a stupid pick, I shouldn't have picked him. 
Didn't get a Spanish League goalkeeper, did I? Baggio. Not who I would want to play up top, but then I don't really want to play Lucas Perez either. Um, okay, let's just have a little look around here. So what we can do for for a little bit more chemistry. So uh, Decore is not going to give us anything, and I don't changing these around isn't going to do anything for us. We get an extra bit of chemistry if I put Petit on that side there. Means we're just lacking chemistry at Ramos and Munir, which means a Spanish manager. Pep Guardiola would be good because that would give Rashford a little bit more chem. Um, and Salah as well, actually. Not that I've ever tried to call in a manager on this game before. Um, let's go and try and do that anyway. Let's call in Pep Guardiola. Didn't happen. So we're going to have to go with the Spanish manager, I think. It gives us our two extra chemistry. And I think I'm just going to have a little play around just see if there's any way I can get that little extra bit of two chemistry there. I don't think there is going to be a way, if I'm honest. Ramos being the only one off chem is not terrible, to be fair. Um... So if I now put Perez in, that would actually put it up to 99 chemistry. Perez isn't going to play, realistically. Baggio will probably... I might have to play Baggio and play Salah or Di Maria off him or something. Although I'd quite like to play Di Maria up top, although he's got a three-star weak foot. It's not the greatest of draft, guys. It's not the greatest of draft. Um... I'm going to have a little play around and then we'll come back to the final team just before we get into the game. Okay, so I've had a little look around and I can't see anything better than this. It is somehow a 92 rated draft, um, even with a few normal cards in there. But what I think I'm going to do is I am going to put um, Di Maria into the striker position and Baggio is probably not going to play. Um, I might run him out a little bit just to see what he's like, but generally I think... I mean, he's got a four-star weak foot is the only thing that really appeals to me. I suppose I could play Rashford there. But again, he's only got a three-star weak foot. So him or Di Maria, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to bring Oscar on for Kante, uh, purely because I've already got a defensive midfielder in, in Petit. Um, and then leave my other sub. Um, let's go get into a game. Oh, my God. Where are all my icons? Look at this side. Cruyff, Ronaldinho, Sen, Hierro, Gattuso, Alberto... Team of the season, Martinez and Gomez. That's a 1-9-3 team. Where were my icons? This guy got them all. This guy got all my icons. Uh, I mean, if he's if he's half decent, we're probably out in the first round. An hour's trading for nothing. Yeah, there's not really much to say about that. He played some great balls in. And uh, we're 1-0 down. I feel like um, this could be over very quickly. And we've sweat it across on a counter-attack from his corner. For some reason, it's Salah that's the furthest person up the pitch. I'm not entirely sure why, but he absolutely steams away, considering he is a normal gold rare card. Gets ahead, little sweat across the box. Perfect tap in. Not bad. One all. So he's just paused the game there. So what I've gone and done is I've actually taken Lucas off and put Alexander Arnold on the right back, on the right mid position, sorry, because I want him to keep up with Ronaldinho. Um. He's going to him quite often as an outlet. Well, I don't know what he's done there. He's absolutely messed up. Tried to roll it out. I did try and block it off, but actually the player that I used to try and block it off with wasn't the person who intercepted it. 
Mo Salah's got it, I've just dribbled it through, got a little pass through, Di Maria's hit it against the keeper, been a little bit fortunate, it's come straight back out to him to go in for a second time. What I've noticed is actually that I thought he was really good at first because of the skill moves, drag backs, creating space. Actually, he's pushing his defence up any time I'm on the counter-attack and actually a lot of them skill moves and drag, drag backs aren't being done at times when it was necessary. They just seem to be being done for show a little bit. Um, so actually, yeah, I'm not, I'm not so sure we will lose this. And there we go, that's what I mean. Just taking enough time just to dribble, not do the run fast button because it's the worst thing you can do, especially if you're passed in first time and you press the run fast button and straight away they jump the ball forward. Just a little bit of dribbling, cut inside. Trent Alexander-Arnold, who we brought on at right mid to defend Ronaldinho, has gone and scored. We're 3-1 and actually I feel like we're pretty comfortable. And there we go, 4-1. Lovely little pass and play between Di Maria and Munir. Just cuts in again on his right foot into the right-hand side of the goal. 4-1. Like I say, I think my initial evaluation of this game was, was completely wrong. We are coasting. I would not be surprised if he quits. And there we go, 5-1. Lovely little ball down the wing from Diego Carlos. We cut it back, pass it along the box again, straight to Rashford, pops it into the left-hand side of the goal. 5-1 at half-time. It's a very attacking formation in, like I said, this Ronaldinho was catching us out a little bit at the back, which is why I tried to bring Trent on. Um, he's made a substitution, so he isn't going anywhere. Fair play. I mean, that's the thing. I say fair play because, I mean, he's not really in it. Look at that. One shot, one goal, one shot on target to my 11 shots and eight on target. So I am absolutely dominating the game. But look at his draft. All those prime moments icons kind of makes you think like why would you want to quit this is the one time you're going to get to use this many prime icons in your draft i get it i just think at 5-1 with that sort of domination i probably would go i wouldn't stick around I'm going to put that in just to give you an idea of how frustrating speed up lag is. I'm absolutely through one on one. All I've done and pressed triggered in to finesse it around the goalkeeper. Speed up lag has stopped it from happening. It's so frustrating. Um, like I say, I'm in a I'm in a position in the house where I can only really use wireless. And um, and yeah, sometimes it is costing me goals. And there we go, he's done it again, he's rolled it out. I think he's probably given up at this stage. Um, on the counter-attack a couple of times, he was literally leaving only about one or two defenders back, so I think he's probably on ultra-attacking. We go and score with Angel Di Maria to make it 6-1, the 92nd minute. Don't know why he's paused it, I'm guessing... I, I mean, a rage quit in the 92nd minute would be weird. Um... But yeah, what is going to happen anyway is I've now actually got to go um, and uh, just I've got to run an errand. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the rest of this draft. So you probably see me in a different t-shirt, probably in a daytime or something. But we're going to finish off the rest of this draft and we'll be coming back to that next. And we are back. So if you saw up till now, you will know that we won the last game 6-1. 
And as you see on the screen, that is the result there. And this is the team that we're going with. So it's the three back formation. So what I was doing was switching Baggio into the right center defensive mid or center mid position. And then I was bringing Di Maria on to play up front for us. Um, in the previous game before this, I did put Trent uh, as team of the year at right mid uh, to try and see if I could get him to stay back. So we were getting a little bit exploited by Ronaldinho on that side. He didn't really stay back. But it doesn't really matter. We managed to be okay. This looks like an okay team. Four or five icons. Foot birthday popper. Gignac's got a good shot on him. But otherwise, generally, I'm not too worried. So he's going to be making his sub straight away. So I'll do the same as well. So yeah, I'm going to put Baggio into that right centre mid. So just got Petit as my defensive midfielder. I'm going to put Di Maria up front. And I'm going to put... Trent on at the right hand side. I'm just going to change him to see if I can get him to stay back. So come back on defence. So he will help out now at the back if we are going to get exploited at all. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. So a little bit of a stalemate really this one. Um, I think it'll probably show fairly even-ish. Well, actually, a little bit more shots on there. Um, but yeah, generally feels like we're fairly close in play. Um, I did have one really good chance with Petit where I cut inside. He only had to put it in the right-hand side of the goal, but he hit the post, unfortunately. Generally really happy with the way the team is working. Um, just in that final third, you just need to get a better shot away and needs to be someone better than Petit at the end of it. Well, out of nowhere there, I thought I'm taking Gignac away from the goal. He's not going to do anything and suddenly he slammed it in the top left-hand corner. Um, I knew he had a good shot on him, but I didn't think he was capable of that, that's for sure. That's literally come out of nowhere as well. Well, that's got to be a red for a start. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> He's absolutely taken me out as I'm about to rifle it in the corner of the goal. How is that not a red card? Well, who knows? And he saved the penalty as well. That's unbelievable. I can't believe he's not off the pitch. And there we go, we do finally get the goal that is more than deserved. Honestly, you can see the last sort of 10 minutes of in-game play. I've absolutely destroyed him in the last third. I played a couple of little, like, sort of small touch through balls and passes outside the area. And just every single time, as Ferdinand or someone there just seems to keep closing me down. I can't help but think, if we didn't have that one defender that shouldn't be on the pitch back there, we probably would have sealed this. And there we go, right in the final dying minutes of injury time. We finally get the ball that we need through. Di Maria gets it, puts it around the goalkeeper. 2-1. I'm, I'm still smiling at the fact that, one, I don't know how he didn't get sent off. Um, and generally just think that, like, I probably really should have won this before now. Like, it shouldn't have happened in injury time. This guy's probably going to feel like he's been a little bit hard done by. But actually... I really should have had this sign sealed and delivered. But we move. We're into the semi-final. I mean, that the challenge as well from Pogba was was horrendous. It was nowhere near as bad as as bad as uh, Carlos Alberto's. But um, yeah, let's go through a two-one win. So we've got a six-one and a two-one. We absolutely dominated the game in the stats. Let's get ourselves into the semi-final. Okay, semi-final time, and he's got a nice-looking defence there. Um, very defensive midfield in terms of... I mean, Marcelo's obviously shapeshifted cards a bit more attacking, but Kante and Casemiro. 
I did like that Matthias Cunha card when it first came out, but I think it's probably a little bit off the pace of the game now. So I'm sure that he's probably going to be subbing that off for something else. And yeah, he's paused it already. So we'll go make our subs as well. As always, bringing Baggio into that midfield and putting Di Maria up front. And uh, yeah, putting uh, Trent on that right-hand side just to cover back. Again, he still gets forward loads, even though I've, I've put him on sort of helping the defence. He doesn't really do that. But it's surely just putting this on has got to make it a little bit better. Um, let's see if I've got anything else we can put on him. No, not really. So, yeah, we're just going to leave him on that, come back on defence, and just hope that he actually does his job to try and stop whoever he's got on that left-hand side. Although I think it was actually uh, Coutinho um, and Cunha. So, might not be too worried about those two in particular. Well, he's kicked out deliberately there as well to get his subs on. So he obviously has got some decent players. I think I just saw Neymar. Let's just have a little look before I throw this out. Yeah, Neymar for Casemiro. So he's taken off one of his defensive players. And he's brought on Cruz for Cunha. Uh, so I'm guessing that's team of the season, Cruz. But that's a, that's a little bit of a surprise. I guess he's brought uh, Neymar up front in where the space where Cunha was. So once again, a little bit of a stalemate. Um, we're both really sort of attacking really quite well, um, but not really had that kind of final chance. So um, yeah, we move. And there we go, straight away almost from kickoff, we have finally got through. Lovely little one-twos between Salah and I think Munir there. Gets us 1-0 up. Hopefully this can be the goal that sees us through to the final. He's pausing it, which I think he's probably making changes. I doubt he's going to quit. He has. He's quit. Well, I mean, I thought that was a fairly even game. But obviously that's um, that's got him raging, that goal. We're into the final. Actually, yeah, now I look at the stats. 11 shots to zero, six shots on target to zero. Maybe the three-back formation isn't so bad after all. Let's go and get into the final. Okay, so here we go. It's final time. And he's got R9 up front for a start, we can see, with Crespo. So nice-looking strike force, nice-looking team generally. I suppose he's got someone for Nacho um, Fernandez to bring on. That's a nice-looking time. This could, be, um, this could be a little bit tougher. 4-4-2 four, four, is a good formation as well. We'll make our substitutions again, see if we can get ourselves a final win. Yeah, we've come against uh, come up against someone really good in this one. He's doing a lot of skill moves, a lot of fake shots, a lot of ball rolls, creating a lot of space. And uh, Ronaldo got away a minute ago and actually I managed to bring Edison out to stop it. But um, yeah, really it probably should be 2-0. But we move, we never give up. Not in the final. nil. that's a little bit frustrating that one because I got the ball twice, played it out to one of my midfielders and it just went in a completely different direction to where I was actually passing the ball um, and he's intercepted it twice obviously because it's not where I've actually aimed to pass the ball so that's annoying because I hadn't had any of that uh, in the first three rounds um, and now suddenly my players can't seem to pass the ball properly um, so yeah 2 nil down, like I say we should be probably 2 nil down anyway but Tuna down to that goal when actually I was passing it to my midfielders and just didn't go in the right places. A bit frustrating. There we do. A bit fortunate to get the deflection there. We do get a goal back. 
Uh, yeah, obviously I cut it inside to hit it on the left foot, finesse it in the top corner, it's hit the defender and come back out to Di Maria, uh, who's then laced it into the top corner. So, same idea, just a different way of getting there. We're 2 1. Kickoff goals just need to stop happening. The momentum is crazy change on this game. Um, yeah, it's just what it is. Like he's done a little standoff fake there, which has sold me a little bit. But just seems like sometimes after kickoffs, your players just stop doing what they need to be doing. So unfortunately, we are going into that half of time as three-one down. Um, he is—I mean, you'll show on the stats there—he's all over me. Look, thirteen shots to four. Um, just a little bit frustrating that uh, I had one really good chance where I came in with Munir, um, but he blocked it really well. And I do hate playing against these types of players. Like, obviously, he's very good at the game anyway. He's doing the right skill moves, creating the right spaces, dribbling at the right times, etc. But the problem is. He's defending with that one player and that's the one thing that I do hate about this game is that it's set up this year so that you can do that to try and stop your opponent is to control the one player. I think it's a shame that people are doing it because I think like when you do drafts the idea is I want to kind of use every single player on the pitch. Um, and yeah, I, I, it's a, I get it's a way of winning. I just don't particularly like its style. Um, but it is what it is. If people want to win games that badly I've always said that I'd rather they win um, because it means more to them for them to do that. There we go, we get one back. Uh, I thought we were actually offside and I think he thought we were as well. But we cut it back to Petit, laces it into the far right inside the goals. So we're 3-2. See if we can get another one back and get us back into this game. And there we go, almost straight away. Lovely little through ball, cut inside with Munir. Finesse into the right-hand side of the goal, free all. We don't really have any business in being drawn here, but I'm really happy with the way that the now performance is coming back in the second half. He'll probably say it's a momentum change. I do believe it does happen in this game. We're three all. It's a shame there that just before that, played a nice one too. Wanted to send it down the wing to Rashford. It's registered the through ball to the player just in front of me instead of playing the long through ball. And it's led to him then getting that counter attack, which is annoying. But like I say, we shouldn't really be back in this anyway. So he's going to make a sub in the 80th minute by the looks of it. Uh, obviously we are still 4-3 down. What I've gone and done is I've put Pizzi up for Salah just to try and see, uh, give a little bit more freshness and a little bit more pace uh, just up in that striker or the wing roll. Just see if we can get one more goal just to at least get us to extra time. That could be our last chance there. Really good chance for Munir. I probably should have taken a touch, but I thought on the volley, he might just beat him. This is it now. It's our last chance on the corner. Let's get Di Maria swinging this into Petit's head. And now that is it. So we're 4-3 in the final. Like I say, really, I think if you look at the shots and statistics, we probably shouldn't have even been that close. Let's have a little look. Sixteen to nine, nine shots on target to seven. So yeah, it probably tells the right story. To be fair, that although we may have had some shots that weren't on target, of the shots on target, conversion rates about right. Four three. Not too disappointed. We got to a final. Let's go and see what packs we have got, and we'll get them open. You'll see loads of our packs in the store. They are going to be opened on a pack and guess, which is being recorded today. Rare gold pack and a premium gold players pack. So that's not too bad at all. So let's go and open the premium gold players pack. And then the rare gold pack. See if we can get anything. Any special cards would be good. Especially some team of the seasons. We've got something in this one. 
It's an informed walkout. Is that Indeedy? Nice. I uh, got him actually last time as well. So that's uh, that's a nice pull, to be fair. 87 rated team of the week or team of the week moments. Anything else behind him? Not really. Uh, rare there. Let's go and see what we got price-wise. He's not a great deal of money, maybe 22000 but we'll go and store him in the clubs because uh, he may well be used for SBCs. And we'll go and open our rare gold pack. There it is. 12 items, all rare. Hopefully we can get a team of the season in this one. It is something. We have got a team of the season. Come on. Be a good one. Berichiche? No, it's Grimaldo. Okay. That's again not too bad. I've had a, I've had both uh, the Portuguese left backs now in my last couple of videos. I've got Tellers in an 81 plus upgrade. Team of the season, Grimaldo. That's not terrible. Anything else in the pack? Oh, and an 89 Chiellini. What a rare goal pack that is to finish that episode on. Let's go and put them both up on the transfer market. Those we won't keep in the club because they're going to be worth some coins. So actually, all in all, although the trading was a little bit difficult, we only really got sort of one, one and a half thousand coins per card. We've gone and made some really good money on Chiellini, team of the season, and we got the Ndidi team of the week moment. So that has actually been a really solid draft from grafting those 15,000 coins. As always, links to all my videos are down in the description so the playlist on the trade to glory and the graph to a draft series is in the link below as always is the last foot eliminator episode and the last pack and guess as well also links down to my twitter account are also there as well come and search me out at brad861 because when i do the foot eliminator episodes as a solo episode you guys can take part in choosing possibly some bronzes in my side but also possibly choosing who i discard at the end so it's definitely worth going along if not just to see you guys ruin my team basically but as always drop a like on the video comment and subscribe to the channel the more subscribers we get the best uh, best sort of collabs i can bring you the better content i can bring you and as always i've been brad thank you ever so much for tuning in